In this video, I'm going to show you how to communicate with a Raspberry Pi from a Windows desktop. My Raspberry Pi is running Raspbian Linux, which is a full-fledged Linux operating system on the Raspberry Pi. Now in Windows, you don't have a native SSH client, so to communicate through SSH, we're going to use a program called PuTTY, which is a freeware SSH program for Windows. Now the first thing I need to do is log into my router and find my IP address, which in this case is 100020. And then I will open up the PuTTY client. In the host name, put in 100020. Since we're running on the standard SSH port of 22, we'll just click open. And there's our standard Linux login. Asks for a password. And here we are at a standard Linux prompt. And you can do anything here that you would do from any other Linux prompt, as if you plugged in the keyboard and monitor. It's the same thing here. Let's uh, go ahead and write a quick Python script. And it's that easy. Now this is how you can communicate through SSH to your Raspberry Pi from the Windows desktop. Now, SSH is great. In fact, you'll probably use that for most of the work you do on a Raspberry Pi. But what if you don't want to do all of your work through SSH and you don't want to do things like scripting or video editing or movie editing over SSH? Well, you can do all of that on your Windows desktop and push the files over with another program called PSCP. This is made by the same folks that make the PuTTY application, and it's very easy to use. So let's say we want to do editing in our favorite IDE. In this case, I've got Sublime Text up. And you can see that I've got some Python here, got it all spelled out, and I want to upload it to our Raspberry Pi. Now, as you can see here, we have our old test script, but we want the test PY that's on this folder to be pushed over to the Raspberry Pi. So how can we do that? By using SCP. Now I'll explain this command here really quick before we press enter. And it's SCP, which is the command, and then test PY, which is the file on our local hard drive that we want to push over. And we want to push it to this IP address with the PI user and then the colon slash home slash pi, that's where we want it to land on the Raspberry Pi. Now here it will ask for a password. And there we go. Now it's pushed over and let's take a look at that Python script now. As you can see, it is a different script. It's been passed over. Now what if we want to do the opposite? What if we do some editing here? We do some testing and we, we really like where it's at, but we want to bring it back to the desktop and open it up in Sublime again. Turns out that's fairly easy as well. Open up your command prompt again. And again, we're using the SCP command. Now here you can see that I'm using SCP and then pi at the IP address. So we're using that pi user on the Raspberry Pi again. And then a colon home slash pi slash test.py, which is the file that's on the Raspberry Pi. And then we're going to pull it back here. And the dot means we're going to put it right in this folder that we are in in our DOS command prompt. Type in our password again, and as you can see, it transferred over here. And then we go back to Sublime, and we've got our changes. So this makes editing a lot easier. You can do all your editing of various different files and send them over with SCP. You can do wildcards, folders, things like that. And as I said, if you do some modifications on the Raspberry Pi and you like those modifications, you want to pull them back onto your desktop, you can do that as well with the SCP program.
It's a very powerful program, very easy to use. Now, SSH and SCP are great utilities for transferring files back and forth and doing text-related things at the SSH prompt. But what if you want an actual desktop, like say the desktop you would get if you plugged in a keyboard and monitor directly to your Raspberry Pi? It turns out that's fairly easy as well. Now here I'm typing in sudo apt-get install xrdp. And as you can see it's already installed, but what this is is an RDP compatible server so that you can run this on your Raspberry Pi and connect to the desktop from another Windows device using the remote desktop connection. So in here we type in 10.0.0.20 and connect. And we're greeted with a login prompt. And there you go, you have a full-fledged Raspberry Pi desktop. So this is another good option if you want to do desktop related development or just want to have a desktop on here. It's actually pretty snappy and pretty easy to use. And so XRDP will do that for you. And I've presented three different options for connecting to the Raspberry Pi here. We've had SSH, we've had SCP, and then RDP. These are three ways that you can communicate with your Raspberry Pi for doing development and Internet of Things projects. And I hope you've learned a lot here.